desolate mansion known as the House of Whispers, a sinister reputation lurked. The locals believed it was cursed, haunted by a malevolent spirit that terrorized anyone who dared to enter. The legend of the House of Whispers dated back to the 19th century when it was home to the enigmatic Loomis family. The Loomises were known for their eccentric behavior and their obsession with the occult. They dabbled in dark rituals and conducted experiments that pushed the boundaries of sanity. As the legend goes, one stormy night, the Loomis family vanished without a trace. The townspeople were initially relieved, assuming that the Loomises had met a gruesome end, but their relief was short-lived. Strange occurrences began to plague the area. Local children whispered stories about eerie whispers in the night visible hands that touched the unwary and the chilling sensation of being watched. Most disturbing of all were the accounts of people who claimed to have encountered the vengeful ghost of Elias Loomis himself. One fateful night, a group of adventurous teenagers decided to spend the night in the House of Whispers, lured by the prospect of uncovering the truth behind the legends. Armed with flashlights, they cautiously entered the decaying mansion, their hearts pounding with fear. As they ventured deeper into the mansion, the air grew colder and the atmosphere grew oppressive. Whispers echoed through the halls and the creaking floorboards seemed to come to life. Suddenly, they heard a chilling voice, a guttural, inhuman growl that reverberated through the very walls of the house. As they ventured deeper into the mansion, the air grew colder atmosphere grew oppressive. Whispers echoed through the halls, and the creaking floorboards seemed to come to life. Suddenly, so there a giant voice, a guttural, inhuman growl that reverberated through the very walls of the house. The teenagers froze in terror, their flashlights trembling in their hands. The ghost of Elias Loomis materialized before them, a grotesque, ethereal figure, contorted and tormented. He let out an agonized scream, sending shivers down their spines. His ghostly form moved closer, his spectral hands reaching out to grasp them. Panicking, they fled the house, leaving behind their flashlights and their curiosity. They ran through the haunted woods, pursued by the vengeful spirit. The whispers grew louder, and the ghost's malevolent laughter echoed through the trees. It was as if the very forest itself had come alive to torment them. As dawn broke, they finally reached the safety of the village, shaken and scarred by their harrowing experience. From that day on, they swore never to speak of the House of Whispers again. The legend of the ghost of Elias Loomis continued to haunt the area, ensuring that the House of Whispers would remain abandoned, a dark and cursed place, forever shrouded in mystery and terror.